50% without a question. Because the documents had credibility. People knew that you are given a contract by government, it is payable. Today, there is no bank or uh, microfinance institution that will honor an LPO because you supply it two, three, four, five years down the line, you have not been paid. We want to restore the sanctity of government LPOs and LSO and contracts so that they become bankable, that you can walk to a bank and get cash against it to carry out the works that you have been given. So that is ongoing. Again, you have said you have your issues of the remuneration role. You have explained to me there and here. And what we have agreed, I'll create the framework. My office has been tasked by the president the responsibility of coordinating constitutional commissions and independent offices. I'm the one who does that coordination in my office. So we have agreed with the chair. I'll call that forum for you. The attorney general and no other people involved We begin that conversation so that like your counterparts, the lawyers and other professionals, you can have your own remuneration role. There is too much competition. Even these lawyers, I can tell you, because some of us have to be a share of here. And to be able to your role, to negotiate, because my wife is not a share of it. It is good to have the remuneration role as a benchmark. But you are also many. You have told me you are 35,000. 28,000 are in practice. So mutashindana tu pole pole. So that Kenyans can also get the best deal. So that one I'll do. Again, you have talked about too many regulations and uh, will help the members of the National Assembly are here. The Attorney General is there. We can agree on how to fast track the review of these regulations so that we can collapse them into something that is making sense so that we don't have too many laws for the same person doing the same thing. So that is something we can help in terms of us tracking with the leader of the National Assembly in Parliament, with the Attorney General, with our legal drafters, we can work together and we can help you to fast track that one. The MP for Molo, uh, KK, my good friend, has said about you people being targeted when there are investigations, it is true. Even the procurement people, they were here crying the same. <laughs> it is true, and it's, 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 it's very sad. And I said, and I want once more to reiterate to ACC and DCI, please hire professionals to be your investigators. Hire accountants, hire procurement people who can advise you on how the investigation is going. You find some of these policemen, they have no idea about accounting, you know? So, he, he is being asked to interrogate you and write statements on things that himself he cannot comprehend. <laughs> you know? I, I, from a personal experience on how absurd our investigative agencies can be when they are investigating complex matters beyond their pay grade, When we were fighting to come to government, and the previous government targeted me for persecution because of my political stand, which was very firm, and decided to try to blackmail me to change my stand. They sent CID officers all over my life to look around my life for 50 years and turn it around and see whether they can get something. So I had put some money in a microfinance for eight years. Fixed deposit, 200 million. Money I had earned through hard work, saved, put 200 million, and through good advice by accountants, told me put this money in the fixed deposit and leave for the interest. And I stopped working. I put it, I negotiated for 13%. And every month I was getting 1.9 million which is money actually I did not need, it's too much. 1.9 million is too much for one person. <laughs> so I was living on the interest. 
I give a little to Pastor Dokas. You know, she's a pastor. She doesn't need a lot of money. <laughs> so, ingine kidogo, mimi nakula na marafiki. Ingine napereka kwa siyasa kidogo kidogo. So, this money is in my personal account. I put it on a core deposit for three months. So, every three months, it leaves my personal account, goes to a suspense account. It stays there at the end of the three months. In a rudish way, whatever more than interest, I remain with the interest. I reinvest it back. So that movement back and forth, four times a year, a corporal in police said, I have 800 million every year that is coming to the account. <laughs> you know, that movement back and forth. So they calculated for eight years, they said it's 12.4 billion. And they put up a case of 12.4 billion. And it's the same amount of money. The only 200 is the only money. There is no other money. Movement of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So here, yeah, Nangalia Pale, Musho Pale, and the head Pale. Hey. They calculated, they say, this man, in eight years, he has gotten 12.4 billion. He needs to say where this money has come from. But it was the same 200 million. I tried to explain to him. <laughs> but if they had an accountant or a banker in that bank, to get up a query, it's just a rollover. We are trying to tell them what is a rollover. I say, my you need shika. And that is where you have found accountants have been called to record statement. The federal recording cannot understand what is it that you are saying. He has no idea about books of accounts. So I'm saying, ESCC, DCI, please, for you to deal with corruption and economic crimes, hire professionals in every field as your investigators. <laughs> have accountants, have procurement officers, have bankers, have all sorts of professionals for you to deal conclusively with economic crimes because they are complex. An ordinary policeman trained in the Kigajo cannot understand those things. And I want to say now that we have agreed on police reforms, we have agreed that we'll have a cadet entry so that we attract professionals. So that you enter at the level of an inspector when you are professional. I want to encourage professionals across the country. When we implement that reform and there's a recruitment, Please, accountants, come to the police force as a direct uh, cadet and come and help these people to deal with issues that are complex. These are difficult issues. Even ourselves, and we are graduates, we, we are not able to understand those things. So that's why we hire accountants to advise us. That's why we hire lawyers to advise us, because you are not good at that profession. So to avoid 